mucus, phlegm, and sputum are terms often used interchangeably, but they actually have distinct meanings and roles within the human body. Understanding the differences between these substances can provide clarity about their functions and implications for respiratory health, which is what we're going to discuss in this video. Mucus is a thick, gel-like substance secreted by mucous membranes lining various parts of the body, including the respiratory, digestive, and urogenital tracts. Its primary function is to protect and lubricate these surfaces, acting as a barrier against harmful particles, pathogens, and irritants. In the respiratory system, mucus traps dust, allergens, and microorganisms, preventing them from entering the lungs. It also contains enzymes, antibodies, and antimicrobial proteins that help neutralize infections. Mucus is normally clear, thin, and produced in small amounts to keep the airways moist and functional. However, during infections or irritations, the production of mucus may increase and its consistency may thicken, aiding the body in clearing debris and pathogens from the respiratory tract. Phlegm, on the other hand, specifically refers to mucus that is produced by the respiratory system, particularly the lower airways, during an infection or inflammation. While mucus is a general term, phlegm typically denotes the thicker and more copious secretion that occurs when the body is responding to irritants, such as viruses, bacteria, or allergens. The consistency and color of phlegm can change depending on the underlying condition. For instance, clear phlegm is often associated with mild irritation or allergies, while yellow or green phlegm may indicate a bacterial infection. Phlegm tinged with blood could suggest a more serious issue, such as chronic bronchitis, pneumonia, or even tuberculosis, and warrants medical attention. And, of course, then there is sputum. Sputum refers to mucus or phlegm that has been coughed up from the lower airways and expelled through the mouth. It is often analyzed in medical settings to diagnose respiratory infections or diseases. The characteristics of sputum, such as its volume, color, consistency, and the presence of blood streaks or other abnormalities, provide important insights into the condition of the respiratory system. These features can help healthcare providers identify infections, inflammation, or more serious conditions affecting the lungs and airways, making sputum an essential diagnostic tool in respiratory health assessment. But, in summary, mucus is a general term for the protective secretion produced by mucous membranes, serving a vital role in maintaining respiratory health. Phlegm is a subtype of mucus that arises in the lower respiratory tract during infection or irritation, often becoming thicker or more noticeable. Sputum is phlegm or mucus that has been coughed up and expelled from the body, often used for diagnostic evaluation. These substances, while similar, highlight the body's complex mechanisms for protecting and responding to threats to the respiratory system. Now, let's talk about the key differences. The key differences between mucus, phlegm, and sputum lie in their location, function, and context. Mucus is a general term for the gel-like secretion produced by mucous membranes throughout the body, including the respiratory, digestive, and urogenital tracts. Its primary function is protective, trapping dust, allergens, and microbes to prevent them from causing harm. In the respiratory system, mucus keeps the airways moist and helps with the efficient removal of irritants, playing a constant role in maintaining overall respiratory health. Phlegm, in contrast, specifically refers to mucus produced by the lower respiratory tract, such as the bronchi and lungs, often in response to irritation, infection, or inflammation. While mucus is a routine part of the body's defense system, phlegm typically signals an active response to a health issue, such as a respiratory infection or chronic condition. Phlegm tends to be thicker and more abundant than the regular mucus found in the upper respiratory tract, and its color and texture can change depending on the underlying cause, providing important diagnostic clues. Sputum is phlegm or mucus that has been coughed up and expelled from the lower airways. While phlegm remains within the respiratory system, sputum refers to what is physically brought up and can be observed or collected for medical analysis. The characteristics of sputum, such as its color, consistency, and any unusual features can reveal the presence of infections, inflammation, or more serious conditions like pneumonia or lung cancer. As previously mentioned, mucus serves as a protective and maintenance role, phlegm reflects a reactive state in the lower airways, and sputum represents the observable evidence of this process when expelled from the body. 
understanding these differences is essential for diagnosing and addressing respiratory health concerns. Now, let's talk about the different mucus, phlegm, and sputum colors. The color of mucus, phlegm, or sputum offers valuable clues about a person's respiratory health. By examining the color, consistency, and quantity of these secretions, healthcare professionals can gain insight into the nature and severity of respiratory conditions. While the color alone cannot provide a definitive diagnosis, it often points to potential underlying issues. Clear mucus is typically normal and healthy, reflecting the proper functioning of the mucous membranes. It indicates that the body is effectively maintaining moisture in the airways while trapping dust, allergens, and pathogens. When clear mucus becomes more abundant, it can signal mild irritations like allergies or exposure to environmental pollutants. White phlegm often suggests the early stages of a respiratory infection, such as a common cold or viral bronchitis. It can also indicate nasal congestion, as the mucus becomes thicker and less hydrated while draining from the sinuses. This is often accompanied by other mild symptoms like a stuffy nose or scratchy throat. Yellow or green phlegm usually points to an active infection, either viral or bacterial. The color results in the presence of white blood cells, particularly neutrophils, that rush to the site of infection. As these cells break down, they can tint the mucus yellow or green. Despite common assumptions, green phlegm does not necessarily mean a bacterial infection requiring antibiotics, as viral infections can also cause this discoloration. Brown or black phlegm is more concerning and often associated with smoking or inhalation of environmental pollutants like dirt or dust. It can also indicate old blood, which may be a symptom of more serious conditions like chronic bronchitis, pneumonia, or even lung cancer. Persistent brown or black mucus warrants medical attention. Red or pink phlegm signals the presence of blood, which might result from severe coughing that causes small blood vessels in the airways to break. However, Persistent or recurrent bleeding can point to serious conditions like tuberculosis, pulmonary embolism, or lung cancer, especially if accompanied by symptoms such as weight loss, fatigue, or chest pain. Monitoring changes in the color and consistency of mucus, phlegm, or sputum is crucial. Persistent discoloration, particularly when paired with symptoms like fever, shortness of breath, or chest discomfort, should prompt a medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause and guide appropriate treatment. Now, let's discuss how to get rid of excess mucus and phlegm. Getting rid of excess mucus and phlegm often involves addressing the underlying cause and using strategies to thin and clear these secretions. Staying hydrated is one of the most effective ways to reduce excess mucus. Drinking plenty of water helps thin the mucus, making it easier to expel from the airways. Warm liquids like herbal teas or broths can be particularly soothing, as they do help loosen mucus and provide comfort for irritated throats. Steam inhalation is another useful method for clearing mucus. Breathing in warm, moist air can loosen mucus in the nasal passages and chest, making it easier to expel. Adding essential oils like eucalyptus or menthol to the steam can enhance the effect, as these oils have natural decongestant properties. Similarly, using a humidifier in dry environments can prevent mucus from becoming too thick and sticky. Certain foods and remedies can also support mucus reduction. Consuming spicy foods such as those containing chili peppers can help break up mucus due to their active component, capsaicin. Honey and ginger are natural remedies known to soothe the throat and reduce inflammation, which can decrease mucus production. Avoiding irritants like smoke, pollution, and strong chemical fumes are also crucial, as these can worsen mucus buildup. For individuals with allergies, taking antihistamines or avoiding allergens can significantly reduce mucus production. In cases of infections, addressing the root cause with appropriate medical treatments such as antibiotics for bacterial infections or antivirals for severe viral conditions may be necessary. If mucus and phlegm persist or are accompanied by other symptoms such as fever, chest pain, or shortness of breath, it is essential to seek medical advice. Persistent mucus could indicate an underlying condition, such as chronic sinusitis, bronchitis, or another respiratory issue that requires specialized care. But, as you can see, understanding the differences between mucus, phlegm, and sputum, as well as their colors and causes, provides valuable insight into respiratory health. These substances serve as indicators of the body's defense mechanisms and potential underlying conditions. 
identifying abnormal changes such as excess mucus production or discoloration can guide appropriate actions, whether through home remedies like hydration, steam, or natural decongestants, or by seeking medical evaluation for persistent symptoms. By monitoring these signals and adopting effective strategies to manage excess mucus or phlegm, you can better protect your respiratory health and address potential issues before they escalate into serious conditions. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only.